guys, how are you today? I'm off to the side today because we're doing new makeup releases. We're gonna be talking about new things that are hitting the market, whether I'm gonna buy them, what I'm gonna pass on, and just my overall thoughts on some of these new products. Now, I do have some holiday releases that I haven't talked about yet that I wanted to talk about today. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not excited for most of the holiday releases. So I'll probably talk about a few of them, but I'm gonna be talking a lot about other things that aren't necessarily holiday releases as well. Also, please ignore the hair. This is, my hair's been in a ponytail for the last 24 hours and I just took it down and this is what it did. So it's looking a little crazy, a little rough. <laughs> but anyway, let's just go ahead and get to it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Now. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing I wanna talk about is actually a brand that I had never heard of, and then my friend here on YouTube and on Instagram, Katie Marie, actually posted a picture of this on her Insta stories. Let me just show you guys. She posted this and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? I need to know. So I went ahead and I clicked on it, and the company is called Men Menagerie Cosmetics, I think that's what it's called, and they just came out with this palette. So this is the Feral Palette, which comes out on Friday, October 5th, so this Friday. It'll come out at 11 Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m., and it's going to be $40. And it says $4 of that or $3.99 is going to go to animal to the Animal Welfare Institute to fight animal testing, poaching, and animal abuse. It says that the palette is talc-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. I am struggling with my words on this one. I don't know why. <laughs> But I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Don't you guys think so? Like I love the deep greens that you get in here. But then of course you get some fun pops of color too, which just makes this one really, really exciting to me. It looks like this might be their first palette. Yes, I think it is. They look like a newer brand, but I think this is a really exciting brand. I think the swatches look really pretty. The colors are really pretty. So yes, I definitely wanna try this, even though I've never tried anything from them. It could be a risk <laughs> or it is a risk but definitely I think I'm gonna try it. Okay, you guys know I love Elf Cosmetics. They just came out with a new collection called the Modern Metals Collection. Now this one was done in collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube, Yuri. I'm actually gonna link her information down below as well as her Instagram. It was made in collaboration with her and a few other beauty influencers. Of course, I'm gonna buy this one just to support my friend, but I actually think it's a really pretty collection too. So first of all, I love that they switched up the packaging a little bit. This is one of their kind of classic 10 shadow pan palettes, which you guys know I love. I have talked about them before and I actually love almost every single one that I've tried from them. This one, you get a few neutrals and then some pops of color down at the end. And I actually saw my friend do her swatch video and all of that and I just think it looks like a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I'm actually gonna link that video down below as well. That lip gloss is absolutely stunning. This looks like exactly my kind of lip gloss. There's a ton of glitter in it. The shade is really perfect. It's just super pretty. And you get a matte lipstick in there and a face palette as well. And look at that face palette. Does that not just look like my kind of colors? Yes, it does. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this one. Now you can get the whole collection for $32 and it's already out or you can buy everything separately. So the palette will be $12, the lip products are $6 each, and the face palette is $12 as well. So that's one that I'm actually really excited for. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the new palette from Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. It's gonna be $65, which is expensive, but I think we're used to that with Huda Beauty palettes. You get 18 eyeshadows in here, and I kind of had a feeling when she said she was coming out with a new nude palette, I was like, okay, I bet you anything, they're gonna be like pink, type nudes. She loves her pink shadows. All of her palettes seem to, or like her bigger palettes seem to have a lot of pinks in them. And sure enough, we get some very like mauve pink, rosy type tones in here. I think this is actually a very, very pretty nude palette. You guys know I love my colorful shadows, but I do love nude palettes every now and then if I feel like they are unique. And I feel like this isn't anything super groundbreaking, but it's more unique than just like your basic brown palette. And I know that her formula is really good. So I do think I'm gonna try this one. It looks like it comes out November 1st. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this one. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is maybe from a brand that some of you guys haven't heard of, but if you've been around my channel, you should have heard of them because I've talked about them a few times before. I have two of their palettes and they're coming out with a new palette. It's Glam Light Cosmetics and they're coming out with the Miracle Palette. So this is what it looks like here. Again, you get some really nice pinks and reds in there, some purples, very sort of on trend right now. But this palette is gonna be $28. It looks like it's already out. And what's great about this one is that a portion of the proceeds actually are gonna to go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation for the fight against cancer. So again, a really great cause. This is another one that I'm like, yes, 
it should be supported. This looks great. I definitely want this palette as well. And I do have an affiliate code with them where you guys can get 15% off if you were interested in this one or any of their other palettes. So I'll put it up here on the screen. Okay, another palette that I'm sure so many people are talking about, so many people are gonna buy is the new one from Anastasia. So this is her holiday palette that she just came out with. This is called the Sultry Palette. It's gonna be $45. <sighs> I'm not gonna get this. You guys can see this and know that I'm not gonna get this right. This is another one that looks like your basic neutral palette with a little puff of what, coral in there? I don't get this palette. I think this is just very similar to, honestly, all of her palettes are starting to look the same lately. I don't really get it. A lot of the shadows in these palettes are too similar to one another for me to get excited about any of them. So I'm not excited for this at all. I'm still really just waiting for the brand to come out with something really exciting. I feel like they haven't come out with anything super exciting in a really long time. But if you guys are interested in this one, it comes out on October 9th and it's gonna be $45. All right, let's talk about some Kat Von D makeup. She's coming out with a new collection for the holidays. It's called the Fetish Collection. And it looks like we're gonna get some lip colors, an eyeshadow palette, and a highlighter and blush palette. So when I look at this collection, you guys, the highlighter and blush palette is kind of what stands out to me. This one actually looks really interesting, although it doesn't scream Kat Von D to me. Does this scream Kat Von D to you? It doesn't to me at all, but I think it's really pretty and I would be interested to try her formula in blushes and highlighters because I haven't tried anything like that from her before. Her lip products, I'm not a huge fan of her liquid lipsticks, so I'm gonna pass on those altogether. And the eyeshadow palette, you guys, I am super underwhelmed by this eyeshadow palette. I thought, you know, knowing Kat Von D, she, in the past she's come out with really exciting and fun eyeshadow palettes when it comes to her holiday releases. And I just was left super underwhelmed by this one. I look at this palette and I'm not inspired by it. I don't feel like I want to reach for it. I just, I'm not excited for this one at all. So I'm not going to get the eyeshadow palette, but I think I will get the highlighter and blush palette. If you guys are interested, the blush and highlighter palette is $43. The eyeshadow palette is $63. And then you get the liquid the liquid lipstick set is $44. So do you guys say Viseart or do you say Visart? I usually say Viseart, but I don't really know which one it is. But they came out with a new Grande Pro Volume 2 palette. It looks like this one is already out. This is a very large palette. And in this palette, you get 30 shimmery shadows. Now, if you guys know anything about me, you know I love 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 a shimmer shadow they're my absolute favorites and i know some people will not buy an all shimmer palette a lot of people actually really don't like an all shimmer palette i love an all shimmer palette and i think it's because i have enough mattes in my collection that i can pull in and sort of mix and match so i don't mind an all shimmer palette i actually really like it now this one is going to be 175 dollars. this is one that i think i could get a lot of use out of they've got so many different uh shimmer tones in there that i really think i would use this but it's limited edition. So that's one thing that makes me not want to get it. And I know like it's such a big thing, right? Like some people love limited edition, some people don't. I personally am someone that I don't see the reason to buy a limited edition palette just because I'm here on YouTube. I'm doing reviews for you guys. I'm doing tutorials. I'm doing all those different things. And I can't show you guys a limited edition product once once it's gone, you know? So this is one that I struggle with. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really nice, but I don't know if I should get it. This might be one that maybe I put on my Christmas list but I don't even know if it'll still be available at Christmas. Like maybe it's gonna be sold out. I just don't even know. All right guys, Natasha Denona came out with a ton of eyeshadow palettes and this right here is one of them. This is the gold palette from Natasha Denona. Looking at this, this looks like that basic uh, neutral palette that I told you guys I don't like. So this one I know I'm not gonna get, but it's gonna be out October 2nd and I'm sure it'll be around that 120 something dollar price range that all of her palettes are. I'm not gonna get that one. She also came out with this mini star palette. This one is already out. This is $25, which means it's one of those really, really tiny ones. I tried her last really tiny one, the mini Lila palette, and I hated that palette, so I will not be getting this one. Some people are telling me that the mini palettes are not the same quality as her larger palettes. So I'm tempted to try a larger palette and see if the quality is better, but I don't really know. A lot of, I feel like I get mixed, mixed things. Some people say, yes, the quality is better. Some people say, no, it's the same. So I feel like I need to try one of her larger ones for myself, but this one is available. If you guys were interested in that one, I'm not going to pick this one up. But then she also came out with this palette right here, which is the Cranberry Eyeshadow Palette. This one comes with five eyeshadows. It's one of her larger five eyeshadow ones. So it's not a mini, but it's, does that make sense? Do you guys know what I mean? The larger ones? It's going to be bigger than that last one I just showed you. It's $48 and I'm not sure when exactly it comes out. It just says coming soon, but this might be the one that I try. 
You guys know I'm a sucker for my red and pink shadows. I can't stop buying them. I can't stop wearing them. Ah, oh, this one just looks so pretty and it looks like such a good uh, holiday palette. So this is gonna be $48. This could be a good way for me to try her shadows again and see, do I actually like them? Maybe it's gonna be better than the last one. I don't know, but that one is definitely on my maybe list. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for new makeup releases. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. What are you gonna buy? What are you gonna pass on? As always, let me know. And if there's anything you wanna see me talk about, please do tag me on Instagram or let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.